Hello there, great person, welcome back to Let's Read the Wheel of Time, book 3, The Dragon Reborn, and yes, I did not post a video yesterday because I had lots of work and I didn't manage to do it, but, but, I got the suggestion uh, that I will, I should read uh, chapter 24 live, so I thought why not read 23 and 24 live on Sunday, so I will do a live stream on Sunday where I read those and we can discuss stuff. And today I will read uh, 21 and 22, like I will record them separately. This one will be out today on Friday. So yeah, if you if you uh, are on Friday still uh, watching this, like on the 28th of October, um, yeah, I will do a live stream today on Twitch. Uh, Twitch link is in my channel description and I will just post it below this video perhaps. So I'm going to start at like... 10 p.m. or whatever and I'm just gonna chill and play some games because I need to relax a bit and uh, perhaps you will make that um, and yeah on uh, Saturday there will be then 22 and uh, yeah let's just go let's have some fun and let's see if uh, mad greatness continues it's called a world of dreams so we're gonna go into inception world and the oh interesting so the symbol is like a Mobi, Mo, mobius um it's like a mobius strip but in yeah it looks a bit different but it's basically a mobius strip or is it let me see i'm sorry it's just because uh, professional curiosity yep and in, indeed is a mobius strip very cool so we've got a mobius strip for dreams and it's in the gwen chapter that's okay uh, like someone asked me Hey, don't you like it, Gwen? I like it, Gwen, a lot uh, because I was uh, raving on about Matt and uh, Perrin so much. Uh, the thing with a Gwen chapters is it's mostly her just standing somewhere and listening to the plot. Like, I, I need an a Gwen chapter where she's more like thinking of her own and like, like having a moment on her own thinking and like the, the, the so I get her to know her more because I know how she interacts with people, I think, but I don't really know a lot of her inner workings yet. Um, and especially after the great chapters we had with her in the second book where we got to know her trauma, that is like something I need more of, I think. But uh, I hope as well that she's fine. So you know what I mean? Anyway. Okay, so she's still uh, yeah, trying to, trying to recover from the pot duty. She was scrubbing uh, pots. That's, yeah. I mean, how hard is that? Could be pretty hard if you're like in medieval setting. I know it's not medieval, but oh, and it has had been bake day. What did they bake? The what do you bake in the White Tower? Is it like do you bake bread, gingerbread? Is it Christmas time? Do they still have Christmas? And they no, <laughs> I'm just fooling around. But um, yet yeah, why they are probably not allowed to use the one power because it's a punishment. But couldn't they technically like? Uh, uh, use the one power like if she if if she was allowed to could she use it so many questions about this oh interesting and Varian had come and summoned her in passing that's nice so Varian is a secret agent as well okay Varian lives above the library that's pretty cool i mean that's the perfect place for her and also what i wonder is um how much on average do Esedai travel? Like, if she lives in the tower in the uh, library, why would she... Um, like, she might be in a, a brown one that doesn't travel a lot and just reads. I don't know. So, it's probably different for everyone. Like, Red is probably out all the time. So, she's, like, uh, living in a part of the building that's, like feels a bit random and run down, like a randomly constructed, like there are like the way it goes up and down and it's contorted a bit, I think, so. Oh, interesting. Many of the lamps were unlit, plunging much of the hall into gloom. That's good. It was not a comforting place for one thinking of the Black Archer. That's true. Yeah, it's probably not the best that she knows she might get backstabbed every second. Oh, and she had not been there, apparently. This reads as if she had not been at Varen's office or room. Okay, and uh, Varen is... 
Baron Storis beside a king on horseback receiving the surrender of another king. Is that uh, Hawkwing? No, man dead hundreds of years before Arthur Hawkwing was born. Baron always seemed to know such things, yeah, okay. Okay, so she doesn't know who it is. Is that going to be important? It might be. And Varen's like, who is it? Come in. Even though she expected her to come. Okay, yeah, she's got an office and next to that her bedroom and she's got lots of books. Lots of books. Very nice. I like lots of books. Oh, and she recognized the names of some constellations. The Plowman and the Haywain. The Archer and the Five Sisters. But others were unfamiliar. Yeah, you probably haven't studied a lot. You ran away. Understandably, you ran away, but... I'm just saying. Just saying you would know this. Probably not, but it's probably like a brown archer thing. Yeah, and she doesn't have a lot of uh, order in her room. So she, she should uh, clean up her room. But she doesn't because she's so like creative, probably. I've learned that uh, sometimes when people are very un like seem to be untidy, they are like very creative, and their rooms are pretty like I don't know. You know, there's everything is lying somewhere, and if you would um, if you would try to uh, put things to different places, they would not find anything anymore. But be like on their own system, that's chaos. They find everything. I was like that uh, when I was younger. I think sometimes. Like I had a like cluttered desk and I knew where everything was and when my mom came and said, yeah, I cleaned it up and I cleaned up some part and never found anything anymore. So now my uh, desk is a lot more cleaned up. So I don't know. Oh, and she's got uh, like, um, what are they called? The glasses that you use as a chemist. Flasks. Flasks? I don't know the, the term. I mean, I'm a physicist and a chemist, so can't fault me for that. Oh, and there is a stuffed brown owl. Now I want a stuffed brown owl. Oh, and there is a weird skull. Ah, uh, interesting. Oh, and the owl's alive. Great. So I want to have an alive brown owl. Ah, oh, yes. It is you. Yes. Yeah, Varen's like <laughs> probably in a book right now. Oh, yeah, she's got a page in her hand. Okay. He keeps down my stage to paper. Okay, so she's got a mice destroying owl there. Great, great, great thing to have here. Yeah. Fascinating this. Rosal of Essam claimed more than a hundred pages survived the breaking, and she could have should have known, since she wrote barely two hundred years afterwards. But only this one piece still exists, so far as I know. Yeah, that's so sad. Reminds me of the Library of Alexandria that burned down. Such a shame. Such a damn shame. Rose wrote that it held secrets the world could not face, and she would not speak of them plainly. I've read this page a thousand times, trying to decipher what she means. Oh, we've got a mystery box. Love my mystery boxes if they are not by J.J. Abrams. Love them. Because J.J. Abrams' mystery box always lead to nothing. Anyway. <laughs> what does it say, Varen Sedai? It is a direct translation and reads almost like a bard reciting the high chant. Listen. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we've got a poem that is not in poem form, but just read. And I'm gonna try and read it in an ominous voice. Heart of the dark, Baal Zamun, name hidden with a name, shrouded by name. Secret buried within secret, cloaked by secret. Betrayer of hope, Ishamael betrays all hope. Truth burns and sears. Hope fails before truth. A lie is our shield. Who can stand against the heart of dark? Who can face the betrayer of hope? Soul of shadow, soul of the shadow, he is. It ends here. <laughs> that was cool. What do you make of it? Okay, so name hidden with a name shrouded by name. Ba Alzamon 
is that an anagram for something? And if you rearrange that correctly, in that anagram, there's another name. Name hidden within name, shrouded by name. Secret buried within secret, cloaked by secret. Ah, now I kind of want to decipher Baalzamon and rearrange the things and stuff. But I think I'm not going to go anywhere with that, so I will uh, spare you the me going on this for like an hour now and not getting out anything anyway, so... Heart of the Dark by Alzamon. Hmm. Ishamael betrays all hope. Why does... Why does Ishamael come in here? This is so weird. This is gonna be a big plot twist here. I can feel it. I can smell the plot twist brewing here in these pages. Gonna come. Gonna come. It's, I don't know what it will be, but yeah. I do not know. I don't like it, Egwene said. Yeah. Well, why should you try like it or understand it? I have studied it nearly 40 years and I do neither. Yeah. But you did not come for that. But he told her. Uh, he. Again, I don't know why I make this mistake. She told her. Like, why? Why would she to tell her? Okay, now she came up with other pages. So this was here for a purpose. So I guess it's like an anagram, and in that anagram there's another name. Everything that is known about Leandrin and the women who went with her. Names, ages, ages, where they were born. Everything I could find in the records. Even how they performed in their studies. Oh, are we gonna get Leandrin's marks? How uh, was her transfiguration class? Her arithmetics? Her hands against the dark arts? Will we, does she have our, like, now what is, what was it called? I don't know how the English versions are called of the greats in Harry Potter, I'm sorry. Oh, and what we know of the Terran they took too, which isn't much. I hope she reads that stuff and I will know. Only descriptions for the most part. I do not know whether any of this will help. I saw nothing of any use in this. Okay. Perhaps one of us will see something. If she didn't leave something... Okay, she's getting suspicious of Varen now. Varen's the only one I don't suspect to be a dark friend. If she is... I am wrong, but I don't, I just don't believe she is. I don't know. Yeah, what if Varen was black under herself? She gave us a shake, yeah. I trust you, Varen Zadai. Can I really? Yeah, because she, like, yeah, she could try to get her to not lie about that. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. That list I gave you may be important or it may be so much waste of paper, but it isn't the only reason I summoned you. Let's, let's see. Dreams. What's it gonna be about? Dreams. I understand from Anaya that you might become a dreamer. The last was Koreanen Nidil. 473 years ago. Oh, that's pretty rare then. But I guess it like... Um, because their numbers dwindled over the past centuries, that's also why the um, amount of dreamers dwindled. Or is it because the wheel doesn't need dreamers? Or perhaps the, perhaps the wheel only needs certain dreamers like Gwen. And from what I can make from the records, she barely deserved the name. Oh. Oh god, don't throw shade on Koreanini DL. She was probably doing her best, Farron. As do you. Don't be mean. <laughs> Tested me, but she couldn't be sure that any of my dreams foretold the future. That is only part of what dreamers do, child. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's go. Let's go into some more lore. Perhaps the least part. Anaya believes in bringing girls along too slowly, in my opinion. Look here. With one finger, okay. Okay, she draws parallel lines. Let these represent worlds that might exist if different choices had... Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're back in Bizarro World territory. Finally, finally back in... I love that it comes up again and again. It's like, I. it's so weird. I don't expect it because I know that it's such an integral part of the story somehow. But it's like every time it comes up, it's like, like just a... Just a side note, almost, even though it's so important in the story. But it feels like a side note, you know, because it always comes up and goes away. And ah, it's so weird. I love it. The world's reached by the portal stones, Egwen said. Yes, that's true. Very good. But the pattern may be even more complex than that child. 
What could be diff? What what could there? What else could there be than bizarro worlds? Worlds like where time flows differently, where laws are different. The wheel weaves our lives to make the pattern of an age, but the ages themselves are woven into the age lace, the great pattern. What? The age lace. What is a lace? I have to look that up. I'm sorry. One moment. One moment. One moment. Gonna look up what laces. Just gonna look it up. Tell me. Tell me, Lingui. What is a lace? What is a lace? Okay. That doesn't make any sense. That, I don't understand this. A lace. Yeah, I yeah, I, I know. I thought it was that, but it makes no sense. Why would the pattern by me the wheel weaves our lives to make the pattern of an age? The great pattern is an aged lace. So it's the great pattern, so all ages like are they because it's like a, a lace seems to be like a string that's like in a loop. And ah uh, <laughs> I see. So this is the aged lace. The dream, the, the, the Möbius strip might be the age lays. At least I assume. So the, so because the patterns follow, so the age lays is, okay, so that's why it's a Möbius strip. It's the idea that there is always just one side, but there are many sides to the same thing. You know what I mean? That's so cool. So cool. Who can know if this is even the 10th part of the weaving though? Yeah, they don't know how much is woven, how great the weaving is. Some in the Age of Legends apparently believed that there were still other worlds, even harder to reach than the worlds of the portal stones, if that can be believed, lying like this. She drew more lines cross-hatching the first set. For a moment she stared at them. The warp and the woof of the weave. Perhaps the Wheel of Time weaves a still greater pattern from worlds. Well, it is neither here nor there. In all of these worlds, whatever they are, other variations, a few things are constant. One is that the dark one is imprisoned in all of them. Holy shit. Okay, what? So just, okay, I'm sorry, I have to collect myself, but that just blew my mind. This just absolutely blew my mind. I mean, it's just what she knows and she might be wrong. We have to keep that in mind, but Jesus Christ, it's so cool. So we don't know how big the pattern is. Like, pattern is only the... Like on one age. One pattern has an age and they are aligned and those lines are then the age patterns and there are different choices in the ages which makes up the like another dimension and then there and and those make this Möbius string and there are many Möbius strings and they have one intersection and that is the dark one. So is the dark one the creator of the worlds? Why would the dark one be in every world? Because it's clearly that I mean it is not like it was discovered. The Dark One was discovered by... What was it? There was something I was confused about and they didn't see coming when it was mentioned last time. Yeah, they broke him free, I think. Wasn't it stated that in Lucerne's age he was broken free and then they tried to seal him again? Why is he bound in every world? So he is bound. Does that mean that he's bound or that he's not accessible? Like, because I know he is in this Eldritch dimension, that's still my, my understanding of it. So it might also mean that, every, like, th this might cryptically mean that the Dark One's Eldritch dimension is the link to all other dimensions. But perhaps I'm thinking way too much into this, and it might be. And what are the other constants? Yeah, so there are others, but... In all of them, how can that be? Are you saying there is a father of lies for each world? No, child, there is one creator who exists everywhere at once for all these worlds. In the same way, there is only one dark one who also exists in all of these worlds at once. In all of these worlds at once or is linked to all of them? That because it's probably both. So that also means that the creator is a constant. If he is freed from the prison, the creator made in one world, he is freed on all. That is also confusing. So does that mean the creator, either one, the, he is the failed first creation of the creator, like very biblical stuff? Probably, I don't know. 
No, I don't know if that's biblical, but you very like, like, okay, God created something. He wasn't okay with it. Put it away. He created the second stage. That's us. That story? Or is it that creator encountered the dark one and bound him because his world were endangered by the thing he found? It's one of those two things. I think there is probably not another possibility, but I'm, I might be overlooking something. So I'm not, yeah. So long as he's kept prisoner in one, he remains imprisoned in all. What? If he is freed from the prison the creator made in one world, he is freed on all. So long as he is kept prisoner in one, he remains imprisoned on all. That does not seem to make sense. Egwene protests it. Thanks. Thanks. That was, yeah, I'm with you. It does not make any sense. Paradox, child. You can't just say paradox. No. Sorry, Varen. No. You're clever. You can't just say paradox. Like Inception. Paradox. I'm gonna push you up this Escher stairs and down. The Dark One is the embodiment of paradox and chaos, the destroyer of reason and logic, the breaker of balance, the unmaker of order. Yeah, so he's, yeah, he's M2, like, he's chaos. He's the future and the past, I think. Or perhaps it is like, if the, if the Dark One, like, if the Dark One, so the prisoners are perhaps also the same in every world. Or at least the outer shell, because that would still make sense. Like if he's freed in one world, he's got the power. Like he he steps foot into the worlds. Oh God, let let me try to. Okay, I'm I'm sorry that this takes so long to read these parts because I okay let's go like this. Okay, gonna bind the dark one. It's my old bow tie. Hello bow tie that broke. So this is the dark one's prison. This is a world uh uh, uh with bizarro worlds. This is a world with bizarro worlds, and he, uh, if he is bound, like, and he has one shell, if the shell is broken somewhere, it will break everywhere, but if the shell is intact in one place, it will still be intact in every place. Because the shell is just one thing, like it's a ripple, like if you destroy the shell in this world, it will also collapse in this. And if the shell is in this world, it's also like it's like the shell is the single is the single point. It's like a wormhole. The shell is a wormhole. I'm so sorry. This probably doesn't make any sense because it's hard to explain. So the shell is one single thing. So the the border between the dark one and the worlds is um is the same in every world. It's the same border. So it's like every world. You might also think of it. And, oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm just rambling now. Might be that every uh, like every set and patch of bizarre worlds has one intersection, and that intersection also intersects with um, the dark one, and then it's also space time and not just space. So I, Jesus Christ, this was a mind wipe fuck thing. Sorry for language. We'll just go with that. I'm just gonna assume because I'm sorry. It's just my my job. I, I deal with Möbius things and calculate with that and stuff, so... <laughs> it makes the most sense that there's one intersection point of all the worlds and that single point is the barrier. And if the barrier is breached, it automatically breaches in every world. So it's not a paradox, but it seems a paradox from within the world because they can't think like this. But I can. I am the dark one. I am really... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not the dark one. Okay, let's let's go. Okay, so there's this skull. So there's this Trolloc skull. What does this have to do with being a dreamer? The Dark One is bound in Shaiul Ghul, and I do not want to even think of him escaping. So Shaiul Ghul is probably the point that exists everywhere. If Shaiul Ghul is breached, might even be like, and it's not like this. I'm just simplifying it a bit to get my idea across. Again, I'm sorry. Um, it's like Shaiul Ghul is the same. If you go into Shail Ghul, you're in Shail Ghul, but you're not in the world anymore. You are like at the membrane. And that's always the same. So that's the same place for every world. That like something like this, but a bit more abstract, I think. Like, you know what I mean? Or, like perhaps it's not Shail Ghul, but like uh, the, 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 the floor in Shail Ghul. And that's the same in every, you know what I mean? But this idea that there's something in the world that's the same, like it's, it's like a uh, dimensional folding, whatever. Let's just stop this. We might talk about this again one day down the line. <laughs> but the seals and the prison are weakening. Yeah. Do with being a dreamer? Why well, nothing, child, except that we must all confront the Dark One in one way or another. He is prison now, but the pattern did not bring Randall Thor into the world for no purpose. The Dragon Reborn will face the Lord of the Grave, 
That much is sure. Varan survives that long, of course. Dagon will try to distort the pattern if he can. Well, we can go. We have gone rather far afield, haven't we? Yeah, why? Why? Why did you tell me all of this? You just like it's. I'm smoking. Like it's. I'm just broken right now because there's so much. Like it was like. What was that? 200 words? It just blew my mind. I don't have any. Jesus Christ, I'm so. I'm so done. I've, I'm thinking so much. It's so weird. If this has nothing to do with being a dreamer, why are you telling me? It has something to do with the child. The point is that there is a third constant besides the creator and the dark one. There is a world that lies within each... What the frick? This is so bad. Yes. Oh my god. There is a world that lies within each of these others, inside all of them at the same time, or perhaps surrounding them. Writers in the Age of Legend called it Tel Aran Riot. Okay, Tel Aran Riot. I have to get... Yeah. And that's the dreaming. It's the dreaming. It's like an... Oh my god, it's like in Sandman. It's the dreaming. Oh god, this is so... This is so beyond great. Oh man, yeah. So the... Yeah, it's the... It's like the dreaming is like the, the, the foam between all worlds, so to speak, I guess. The unseen world. Perhaps the world of dreams is a better translation. Oh, man. That makes so much sense. And it, it is exactly what I thought then. It's that the Dark One has this Eldritch dimension that's linked to all the worlds and the dreaming like it makes him pass. Like, the, like he can't go into the worlds because he's bound, but he can pass through the dreaming. Because the dreaming is like just the foam. It's not directly connected to, um, to the prison. Like, like the worlds are connected. And the, the barrier is probably between the worlds and the prison, but the Dark One can, like, probably leak through the Dreaming. And I'm just con gonna call it the Dreaming. No, I'm sorry. Sandman rules. Oh god, I have to edit the last episode. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I think. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's... Wow. So... I can't believe that. Okay, I think at least those... Of course, please. I don't believe that this is... Completely true. That's, that's just my hypothesis currently, you know. So if that's rubbish, all of that. Sorry to to ramble, but that's probably why you watch this to to try to try to uh, to to make to to watch me make sense of this and fail. <laughs> Many people, ordinary folk who could not think of channeling, sometimes glimpse tell Andre, tell around Riot in their dreams and even catch glimmers of these other worlds through it. Think of some of the peculiar things you have seen in your dreams, but a dreamer, child, a true dreamer, can end at a Oh. Oh, okay. So, like, go in with your whole body, not just, like, going in with your astral body. Is that also that uh, the essence of life and the souls that return are stored there in the dreaming. I'm sorry, I'm just going to call it the dream. I hope it's okay. Because I like that name. So that in the dreaming, there is everything stored, all the life and memories as well, because memories are dreams technically, so it would make sense as well. Interesting. Wow, so interesting. So interesting. I don't think I'm a dreamer. Varen said I, Anaya said I tests, and Varen's like, prove nothing one way or another. The I still believe that you may very well be one. Revelations again. I, will, I suppose I will learn whether I am not or not eventually, Egwin mumbled. I want it all. I want to be. Don't die. I want to learn. Ah, oh, so Egwin's the dreamer. She's the vortex. No, but jo that's cool. I really, that would be so, 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 so good if a Gwen was the dreamer and that's her thing. And then she could get her own chapters, like she could, if she's alone in the dreaming, there would be so much potential for her character development and stuff like that and, and her getting to know her. I hope that's the case. You have no time to wait, child. The Emelin has entrusted a great task to you, Nynaeve, yeah. You must reach out for any tool you might be able to use. Is she gonna give her an Angreal or Sangreal or Tarangreal? A red wooden box. A ring carved from stone. All flecks and stripes of blue and brown and red and too large to be a finger ring. 
uh, what's it? It's a very, very hard ring and it's twisted. Yeah, it's probably an artifact to go into the dreaming if you are the dreamer. And that's probably again, that's again the symbol, the symbol on the cover page. I think this is my favorite symbol of a color page. It's not because it's like I've worked on this in physics. <laughs> not. I love this idea because this is such a deep idea that they, and that Robert Jordan has introduced into this uh, uh, book series so well. So well integrated and makes so much sense. It explains so much. It had only one edge. Yeah, it's a Mobius ring. Korean in Nadial had that Terran Grail in her possession for most of her lives. You will keep it now. It's in, yeah, it's a Terran Grail. Jesus. I am to keep a Terran Grail. That's so good. According to her, it is the passage to Teleran Riot. She claimed it would work for those without Talon as well as for Esedai, so long as you are touching it when you sleep. There are dangers, of course. Teleran Riot is not like other dreams. What happens there is real. You are actually there instead of just glimpsing it. Yeah. I tried it myself once some years ago and Naya's healing did not work as well as it should have. Ooh, Varen. Yeah, because that fits so well. Like, she wants to explore stuff. Yeah, give me more information on Varen's hunger for knowledge. I'm with you, sister. Remember, yeah. I will be careful, Varen to die. Real? My dreams are bad enough as they are. I want no dreams that leave scars. I'll put in a, it in a second, stick it in the dark corner, and leave it there. But she wanted to learn. Yeah, the knowledge drawing you in, Gwen. Perhaps you are brown, Aja, after all. I mean, it would fit, by the way. I think brown would fit her. I know she's not the type to memorize things, but exploring, she wants to be the dreamer. That alone makes her brown, I think. Good child, now off with you. It grows late and you must be up early to help with breakfast. Sleep well. Keep it. Yeah. Wow. That was... Can't believe what I just read. So, wow, I'm so, I, I'm just, I have to, like, I'm going to read the next chapter. Uh, it's not over. Don't worry, I still have things to do here. But uh, the thing is, I will have to think about this tomorrow. So it's good that I don't read tomorrow. I'm going to probably edit Sandman. In edit. Anyway, um, because this is a lot to think about, I think. And I have to sleep on this. Dream. Yeah. Oh, it's now, this chapter is so badass. Now we switch to Varen. Page upon page covered with a precise and the black ink barely faded after nearly 500 years. Korean Nidial's notes, everything she had learned in 50 years of studying that peculiar Terang Real. Secret of women. It kept by far the greater part of her knowledge from everyone, trusting it only to these pages. Only chance in the habit of rummaging through old papers in the library had led Varen to them. As far as she could discover, no Esedai no besides herself knew of the Terangreal, for Yanin had managed to erase its existence from the record. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, Varen. Varen's like the goat. Like, player of the game. Once again, she considered burning the manuscript, just as she had considered giving it to Egwen. Oh, she considered that. Yeah, that's fine. But destroying knowledge, any knowledge, was anathema to her. And for the other, no. It's best by far to leave things as they are. What will happen, will happen. She let the lid drop shut. Now where did I put that page? Browning, she began to search the six stacks of books and papers for the leather folder. Gwen was already out of her mind. I love Varen. What a nice ending. So she considered giving it to a Gwen, but she trusts the pattern. That is something, and I've discussed this with my friends, and we've not had a discussion for like two months because of stuff. Um, and we hope we will have it, like, we, we are pretty sure we will make, <laughs> because like scheduling problems. So we might have another discussion, I hope soon. But um, yeah, we discussed that Varin and Moraine's understanding of the pattern are pre probably different and this showed again Varen trusts the pattern 
Baron trusts the pattern and the creator. And this, yeah, by the way, the creator, so he's a constant. Does that mean, and he's still there, so he's like omnipresent like? That's so weird. Everything of that is weird uh, about that. So, anyway, that was the chapter. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider uh, liking and share it in this reaction. And remember, today at 10 p.m., there will be a live stream on Twitch where we can chat and play some Dead by Daylight. Um, and yeah, I'm going to read the next one after this. And um, on Sunday, as I said, I will do a live stream of chapter 23 and 24. And I will uh, start that at um, 7 p.m. German time. Um, at least that's what I plan. If anything happens and comes in between, I will let you know through the messages uh, in the community tab of the channel. So please check that out. And But I should make it. And it will be on that day, you know, but I might change the time, but I don't think I will. So anyway, I hope it was not too bad hearing me ramble about all of this crazy, crazy, crazy stuff we learned today. And please take care of yourself. Have a great day and uh, see you later this evening or tomorrow. And uh, yeah, bye.